ball game, which is rather unusual. I was checking with the Houston broadcasters. There has been no report whatsoever to them that there might be a problem with his elbow or his shoulder. But when Milo Hamilton winked at me, I guess that kind of gave us the indication that there is something definitely wrong with Dave Smith, or else he would be in this game. Well, maybe he does have a little bit of a tender elbow, and Hal Lanier does not want to take a chance on making it worse. Here's Candy Maldonado. And the first pitch is a big swing and a miss, strike one. Candy, one for four, has doubled a drive in a run. He did that back in the seventh inning. Astros leading five to four. They have out hit the Giants, 11 to 10. Here's the 0-1 pitch in the way, and Maldonado takes one that is outside and gets by the catcher Ashby and goes all the way to the backstop. The reason I mentioned about the possibility of Dave Smith is the fact is that this is the kind of game that he would normally be in right here. In a save situation, Dave Mead has a very good record of 5-2 and two, but has no saves. Here's the 1-1 pitch in the way, and Maldonado takes a curveball high, 2-1. Rocky Childress, the right-hander in the bullpen, ready. Should Lanier want to make a move? On deck is Will Clark. He may make the move then. Two balls and one strike. Candy waiting. And the pitch on the way. It is swung on and popped up off of first base. And the ball is going back and into the crowd. And so the count is now two and two to Candy. Candy with the double in the seventh inning to bring the Giants to within one run. And then it was Brenly with two men out that doubled down the line in the left field and scored Maldonado to tie the game at four. But then the Astros came back with one in the top of the eighth inning. A double by Hatcher and a base hit by Dorn. That's the difference in the game right now. The Giants with 21 come from behind victories this year. Cincinnati has defeated the Dodgers. So if the Giants are to remain one game back, they're going to have to do something here in the ninth inning. Mead staring down. Now starts his windup and the 2-2 pitch. It is a pitch that is high and it's a full count three and two. A full count three and two to Candy Maldonado. Infield pretty much straight away. Outfield slightly to pull and deep. Here's the payoff pitch, the 3-2 pitch. The caddy hit hard and well in the field. Back goes Hatcher. He's at the wall. He jumps. It is gone. We're tied. Candy Molinano has hit a home run to tie the game at five. Oh, my. How about that one? The candy man strokes his 13th home run of the year. be the next batter. The game is tied at five. And the fans here at Candlestick would like to see Candy come out and take an encore and take a bow. There he is. On a 3-2 pitch. Candy Maldonado ripped the pitch by Dave Mead over the left field fence. Here is Will Clark. And the first pitch to Will is a curveball inside ball one. Five runs and 11 hits for both teams. Clark is old. Make that one for, one for four in the game. Here's the 1-0 pitch on the way. Curveball spins him out of the way. Two balls and no strikes. Well, we were just talking between Wayne and me between innings about where is Dave Smith. As we have said, this is the kind of game that he would normally be in. Here's the 2-0 pitch on the way, and Clark 
Takes one on the outside corner for a strike and a delayed call by Eric Craig. And Clark does not like the call as he walks away from the home plate area. Two balls and one strike. Just to punctuate the point you just made, Dave Smith in 46 innings this year has not allowed a home run. 2-1 pitch on the way. Clark hits it deep to right. Goodbye. See you later. The Giants win it. Upper deck. Oh, he's done it. The Giants come from behind to win it. Six to five.